Hello there, how's it going? I'm Sol. This is part 44 of my uh, Roma Serectum 3 Let's Play as Athens. Right now, previously we continued with our attack on uh, Pergamon and I sent uh, Penelius up to take uh, Gordium here, which he did. But there was quite a stiff resistance there. It's quite a long battle, actually, much the same as um, Nicopolis over here that Thessalus had to fight. But it got there in the end. Um, sieges are a bit longer than uh, field battles, right enough, but uh, we got there. Now, we're having some troops retrained in there, so they'll stay for a while. Um, we've got Mausolus here. And he's got half a stack with some more guys to come from here. Some are getting retrained and a unit recruited. If you move over to Byzantium, we've got Priam. Now again, he's got half a stack. Uh, now we've got him recruits yes, coming, uh, reinforcements coming. I can't remember if it's taking them from there though. Um, I may well have done. Um, I'll have a look at... Oh, hold on a minute. I had them in Athenae, didn't I? Uh, recruiting here. Get some more coming. Uh, did I have some of these Keep ships? Ready. I did, didn't I? Oh, they're there. I'm sure. Yeah, that was them, wasn't it? They needed nine. I think. Was that my thinking? Uh, Alright, we'll send them up to them. Ready. We'll just take Keep these ready. two smaller Get ships back. out for transport duties. Uh, sort of close by. And we'll send yes, sir. the fleet up to yes, Byzantium. No more move, sir. I tell you what, we'll bring Ready that one sail. down as well. Yes, Captain. Yes, Captain. Patrol the seas here. Uh, put these Ready guys back in. Yes, sir. Uh, but I think we can do without that for a moment. I'm going to try and get. I get enough money. If we don't do them, have we got enough money to get a unit? No. Let's get rid of him. There we go. And you can lead them, and maybe we get into a little battle with some rebels somewhere, then you can get man of the hour, perhaps, as long as we get you involved in the battle. But I'll give you six units of Epilecto and a couple of units of Archers. So that should be fine. Now, um, what else is this? this is, yeah. Um, now we've pretty much covered everywhere with trade rights. Because I've got another diplomat up here somewhere as well. Oh, there he's here. We've got all the north of Europe, Western Europe, Iberia. We've, we've covered pretty much everywhere. So was it, I was just leaving him there, I think, for... Um, and negotiation purposes, maybe a ceasefire alliance or something like that. Just keep him freely available. So was I doing the same with him? Sir. I think I was, wasn't I? Going to move him. I mean, who else have I, who have I not got? I think I've got everybody. Uh, Parthia. Ah, they're too far away, they want to bother about. Got all these, them, them. Samasia. Samasia, we haven't got them. Alright, we'll send him, give him something to do, I suppose. Yes, yes, we'll send him crazy. Yes, Quite a lot of moving, yes, isn't he? Yes, yeah, we'll send him down to here. They've got settlements that are pretty spread out in the steppes here, so we'll send him down that way. That's as far as if I remember to go back to him, of course. Uh, okay, um, let's have a look at our settlements. Let's get back over here first, keep it in order. Now you see the Seleucus here sneaking up the coastline, they've attacked um, Alicarnassus. I mean, the Ptolemies are our allies, but uh, I'm not going to go and help them, I'm expecting them to backstab us anyways. <laughs> so we'll just leave them to, to kick on themselves. Um, I was recruiting or retraining in here. Oh, here we are, use up the last bit of our money on them. Nothing to do. Let's just check all our settlements. Hold on a sec. 
That's the easiest way to do it. Okay. Yeah, looking good. Pretty good. Got building going on. We've got governors. Some of them are having good governors. We need to get governors into them once we become big cities because you get 50% penalty, tax penalty, if you don't have a governor. Serdic has got a bit of stress. Let's have a look. They're already on low taxes, 65% public order, 5% growth rate, so it'll take a wee while before we reach 12,000, so we're going to have to try and keep them happy till then. What's causing it? I would think probably these buildings here, because we can use this one, these are great. So it's probably these barbarian uh, uh, buildings that are causing it. Corruption is low. I mean, the culture penalty is only 25%, and we're not that far from the capital. Squall is really low. Yeah, I think we just need to get some more garrison in there, and then just build happy stuff and law courts and st law shrines to law and stuff like that. Um, I can't get in anybody in there. Leave them in there. Need them there. What we got here is four units. Uh, these I'm getting the upgrades and then get very little um, experience. We'll put these guys up there because of their upgrades and experience because this settlement's sort of like sitting on our border. So we want to use the best troops we can as a deterrent and stop the AI from attacking it or Dacia or whatever attacking it. Um, and then we'll replenish this uh, Edessa here with these guys, although it do not look as if he really needed them. Um, let's take another one up there, another unit. There we go, happy smiley. Okay, so everywhere else is pretty much alright. If we just check out Syracusae. Okay, we've got three quarters of stack there, some more coming, being retrained. We've got some army in the fleet as well, haven't we? Yeah. So then we'll get down these coastlines here and attack them because they haven't got a lot in these settlements. Three in there. Three in there. What's Rome got? Just a one. Capua. Ah, oh, that's a bit more substantial. Um, we've done them, done them, done them. Tarrington. Only one in there. Can Four in there. Alright, so we'll continue with that and um, undermine their economy and and break down their infrastructure a little bit by smashing the buildings. Um, over here, what's this? Let's put them into Salone and we'll send these down here because we've got blockading going on by the Greeks here, I mean, I ain't getting any ships won't get that one, he can't deal with them well, but this lot can and we'll get both armies covering the river crossings here so we can move, well actually now they had two armies up here um, instead of sitting back waiting for them because they haven't reached the Marian reforms yet and they should be a lot stronger when they do if, I'm just wondering whether they actually instead of just raid those settlements capture them but the thing is if you capture them then you're going to get continual sieges from um, from the, the Romani uh, not that I don't mind that I want to fight not that I'm afraid of fighting them it's just a distraction too many battles um, better if we just raid them then they'll be easy to take later on Okay, there's only one army there at the minute, so the other one must be move on the move, I think. Let's just take it easy. Here we are, what's this? Uh, there's only three units. Ah, oh, there they are, there. Alright, so we'll, took, we'll take Diomedes' army and we'll put them on this crossing here. That should intimidate them. And hopefully they'll separate. One will come after um, Arteus here, and the other one will go after Diomedes. 
and uh, that will be an even playing field then we can take them on yeah I'll continue just to uh, raid their, set, their, their settlements, their cities just now and then we'll see how it's going but it probably would be better to get at them before the, the Marian reforms um, again if we undermine their infrastructure and economy that much then they won't be able to afford to recruit that many but you just don't know with this game um, uh, right let's go move to the end turn there we go we've been attacked straight off the bat they haven't wasted any time have they alright let's see what they've got ok Triarii allied cohorts we pretty much know Polybians 3 weapons of mass destruction a couple of cavalry units archers more allies ok I think it's going to be, have to be a different tactic for this battle though instead of blockading, uh, blocking the exit from across the, the, the river those um, seized weapons are going to smash the shit out of us if we do that because they're bound to be able to reach now travel begins. I notice there's a crossing war, there but we are, we are here battle and we will not stop until our dead foes fill the field Okay, that's enough, don't need to say anymore, we know what you're going to say. Yet, strange enough, saying that, that, this looks like a crossing here. And so does that. I would say this one more likely, though. Uh, Alright, we're going to move back, because they're going to come, I think they're possibly going to come from across to... I think I used both of them. This one's really clear and obvious. And that one isn't, but I still think they'll maybe split their forces. There's plenty of space to get those lithos in, so we'll need to make sure we're pretty much well back, I think. And what we'll do is. I need to leave a gap because I don't want us to be smashing our own troops. <laughs> okay, I've put that like there. Um, and we'll put you guys to this side because they're better at in fighting the sword with the swords. Okay, and we'll put uh, Therakatai over here because uh, it's always better to be throwing your missile weapons from left to right. Okay, put you there. And sit our archers in about here. I think I have the cavalry up this end as well. Both of them. And we'll sit our general in about out here I think so we can uh, issue orders etc well morale more than anything <coughs> the invisible orders if you know what I'm uh, ok we'll put them on firebomb because they're better devastating effect we won't have as many hits but certainly more devastating I think that's far enough back. I don't think their lithos can reach us or the stone ballista. So let's go for it. Let's see what they're up to. Ah. I was right about that. Cro so these crossings then. So they're not going to use that one. Going to come across this one here. They can't get any further and I'm sure they can't reach us. Now let's change things, jig things about a little bit then. Put these guy these guys here. Stretch them into a f unit of four uh, rows of four. There we go. Balls of Balls of Balls of Balls of Balls of 
Put her ar archers behind them. We'll move these cavalry down there. Okay. Right, let's speed it up a bit. Get them across. Leaving the gap there is going to attract an attack straight into the middle of them. Archers can't reach. Let's change this a little bit. I don't want to get in range of their lithos or that's the thing. Get that triple speed off. See how they're coming wide on us now. We don't want to get in too close, that's the thing. over ground here. Let's get you over here. The whole picture's changed now, you see. General down here. Oh shit! Just I oh, know I hit the others. May have got a couple of others, but. Uh, General, hurry up. Right, that's taken care of that. Chasing after that, just stay there. Where's the cavalry? Go and sort them out. How did they get away? That's utter shit. Absolute shit.
I can't get my cavalry through that gap because they'll just get caught up in a melee. But they can look back up here, my general. take them seize machines out so we can get into this battle properly can't reach anything there My general, general, they killed that cavalry unit off. Get them. Nah, no, never mind them. Out you go. Out there. Good, good, good. Out there you go. Back out. Okay, everything's going fine there. Right, get down and smash the shit out of them boys. And then we can really move in on them. Right, they can pull back over there out the way. position, take him out general. Now let's move you up there a bit. Just take the onions back out there. No, we can't. here. How was that cavalry doing down there? Destroyed all of that lot so we don't have to worry about that anymore. I 
think we've just about got this done now. down here a bit. Now try from there. These guys are done, get you over here. Get a general round here. Right, attack. They're already doing so. We've wiped this lot out. Yeah. All right, General. Time for a nice charge. Not far enough back. Oh, it's on. Oh, yeah. Let's go for it. Call me way out. Ah, routing. Brilliant, brilliant stuff. Just what I wanted. Go get them generals, no point. No need to charge anymore. They're winded, near winded. Here, we route right this lot. I run them down, sorry. Well, they're routing. All dealt with there. Everything's pretty safe. Let's move you back out of the way. Leave us some free space for the cavalry. In you go, lads. You can have them and the general. You can finish up them. This is good going. What's the percentage of losses? 14. That's good, I suppose. But this is still uh, still proving to be a struggle. So once we get these routers, we want all three of them. over here
throw them. Send them up there now. Bring them back just a little bit more. Okay, once you settle down into formation, and in we go, boys. Take them off guard. Look at that, perfect charge. Ho ho! And back out again. Your turn, lads. One set out of the way. In we go. Perfect chance. Look at this. Oh, get out of the way, you lot. Wasn't such a good one we ran into that lot of uh, routers. Back out again. As you can, you can go and take care of them lads. Next you boys, your turn next. Okay, let's get the routers out of the way. Get you boys out of the way as well. down lads, spears down, there we go, perfect chance, yeah. <laughs> excellent, right you come lads, their time, Ah, oh, the routers are going to get in the way. Oh, smash them instead then. Here we come. And back to there again, boys. Victory is done. Yeah, I don't need to bother now. In we go. Drive them from the battlefield. Excellent. Really pleased with the outcome of that. And that's it. Pretty much wiped them out. Some got away. 16% of our men were lost. I, I don't think that's too terrible, you know. Look at the carnage. What's this? One of my guys. <laughs> go on in, mate. Where you go? Go and join them. Uh, too much to drink, mate. You're demented. Let's get it over with. This is a big 342 men. Now, that's not bad at all. I suppose. 
considering how strong the Romans usually are. Got a few back, about 30 odd. Now then, let's see what's occurring with the, the other army. Oh, they're coming after the Arthias as well. <laughs> oh, Marcus Terentius Varro. Yeah, give us back our legions. I wonder if he's a relation. Was it Varro? I can't remember. Let's see what he's got. He's got three weapons of mass destruction as well, isn't he? Right. Three sand, that's a different composition, uh, proposition, I mean, composition, different proposition, because he's a three star. Alright, let's rinse and repeat, I suppose, then. That's about a lot tougher, though, I would think. The morale will be high because I've got a three star uh, general. So this could be a slightly long uh, episode, but never mind. It will be our victory. Bend your backs to your tasks, and all will be well. Okay. Okay. So we know the. We know what's going to be happening now, so uh, we can accommodate it. I think. Well, so it's a bit to come that side because I'm going to prepare for this side. <laughs> oh. right, there we go. Got a little one there. Again, same. I'm going to do the same setup. No point being. Uh, different about it. Okay, and how far was that river? Yeah, I'm assuming this is. I mean, I can move them quite quickly if I need to. It won't be too much of a problem, I don't think. Cavalry, keep the cavalry available. And we'll go and check out their, their litho again if they decide to uh, try and come at us. Okay, everybody on. Right, we're ready. Have they done the same thing? Yeah, they're not using this. I wonder why. Hmm. All right then. Oh, I don't know why I'm saying I wonder why. It's obviously just part of the game mechanic. But uh, right, let them form up and then they'll get across. And they're not going to do us any harm. I don't think they can reach us, even though I've moved a tiny bit closer. But. That's a feather in our cap, a bit of a, this is quite a big bonus this if we can defeat this army as well. And then we'll take Suggestica after that, but I don't think we'll have time to do that on this episode. That'll be something to come back to. I'll wait till they get all, they all get across and then uh, take it off. All right, archers. Take out some of these velites, I think. 
not the cohorts of the legions. We'll just take you forward a little bit and you forward a little bit in case you try to attack the, the litho. Sitting back there. Just can't reach with our arches, but we'll be patient and we'll wait. Um, it'll probably take my video over an hour, but if you don't mind, then I certainly don't. You, the viewers, that is. Got to watch to see where's that commander of theirs, there, that general. He's right there. So they're getting into formation before they come and attack us, as you can see. So we're just, I'm just going to be patient and wait for them. Uh, for now, at least, anyway. Uh, I'll speed it up a tad. But every time I go to triple speed, I always get caught out because I'm, I'm, not, I'm not that good a player, I'm not that quick, I'm not clever like that. I'm, I do well fight my battles as long as they're at my pace. <laughs> but responding, um, I'm not very... my reactions are all quick, I'm not... Uh, I can't use my keypad as well as most people can. Let's try and direct it a bit more. How are we doing up here with these guys here? Alright then, so we'll bring you out. Them. And I think we'll do the same with you. Let's break them down before they get a chance. And then you go. Okay. Ah, I need to get back up again. What the hell? <laughs> Come on, just let me see one good, one good hit. Come on, one good hit. Try that one. I miss by miles some and I'm done. Ah, oh, yeah, we yeah. are. Got some. There we go. That's what I wanted. Now then, what we're going to do about um, well, we'll let the lithable loss finish. We'll just speed it up a bit. Oh yeah, great shot. Yeah, we've got some more. Yeah, I 
think we're pretty much done now. Last couple of shots. Not getting anywhere near them though. That's it, done. So, you can take hold of that boys. And move it back. I don't know why they're not attacking us, but I'm going to go over and get their Lithons. And maybe if we smash them out again. Ah, they're moving now. Cavalry take care of them, they should do that, okay. Now then, maybe we can come to, if we come to meet them, it may bring them forward. Triple speed. Job's done there. Good. Now get after them. Get in and talk to them. Just absolutely crowd them out. can all hold the position. Perhaps we can take out those Velites. And there boys. General in as well. Heavy infantry. Equity. Take them. the cavalry in. Back you come general. How are we doing here? General, let's get you up here. Another rally call. Come on, lads. As long as these hot lights are holding the line, we'll take a few casualties, but it's worth it to win the battle, of course. There's General, come on. Hurry up. Straight into the back of these. Job done. Right back on fire at these elites. Oh, they're just barely holding out here. Get, get this unit out. Come on, hurry up, guys. Down there you go. Get that general. Forget him. Don't worry about him. See him kill some of his men. See so running about everywhere. This is talking about this Cinehead's AI battle formations. 
Um, it's the best AI that I've played against in Rome Total War. And I mean, the other ones are quite good. Uh, Athengaris and uh, Darth Mods. But this guy's... The general don't just charge in and get killed, you know, I mean... It does if, if he's in, co in control of your other army, if you get two armies, but that's never left it. But look at the way that it regroups and sets its charge. They charge different different parts. They'll charge into melee there, and then the next thing they'll pull out, and they go and charge into a melee there as well. I'll get my archers just continually firing at them at the minute. Get my general out here now. We may get a charge in it on. Time to get these guys over. You in there. I'll get you straightened out first, hold on. I think we've got this battle won now, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. The enemy there he goes. And now he's men fear us. That's the end he's of Mr. Barrow. Turn it out in. Here my boy's coming now. Finish them off. We've lost a few, but I mean, I have to accept that. 19%, that's more than we did in the last battle. I think, was it? Yeah, it was, wasn't it? Right, let's get these guys up here ready. Won't chase after them. Archers are done. You can go up there and join them boys. Change your tic tacs. See if we can get you around there. That's it. General put for charge. Now the moral should have dropped quite a bit because um, we've killed our general. do me right you guys round here okay let's bring you guys out to here let's kill him off quickly Get a move on. It's the only thing I notice about this uh, is you have to toggle them on and off, and not just uh, <laughs> sit back and expect them to do because to to um, what the way your brain's thinking. You have to press keys. <laughs> Really powerful charge because I think they're tired. They're exhausted, in fact. Um, rather surprising then. 
Let's get you out as well, General. Break this lot as well, hopefully. Yeah, that's a pretty decent one. They're fresh. Bring them out to here. Good, good, good. again. Go, go, go. I'll draw them back. Didn't get the lances down. Come on. Back you come boys. Okay. Let's try again. before they can escape. Charge. Look at that, get in there. That should be then pretty much broken. Let's get after them. The Victory. enemy army is in flight. Pursue them, drive them from the battlefield. Throw these guys out of the way. Just mop up quickly now. This is a heroic victory. I have to be pleased with that. We lost a quarter of our men, but we have to be pleased. It's three star general and a, you know a, a good army like that destroyed. We have to be happy. Got back roughly, I don't know, about sixty men. So lost about four hundred. Well then, that's uh, been a very um, progressive episode, you could say. I really, yeah, yeah, I quite enjoy playing that one. Well, I enjoy playing it all the time anyway. I love this game. I love this mod in particular. I love the game overall, but I love this mod even more. Right then, so uh, I think we'll leave it there. And... When we come back, we'll look at um, taking Suggestica. Let's just wait till the... Oh, there we go. Garrison Commander. Is that what we want? Lame from birth? Nah, we won't. Well, we can put him in a garrison. He's 27. Yeah, we can make him... We can put him in somewhere. Where, where have we got him? All right, we'll leave it for now and we'll come back to it uh, in the next episode. Uh, episode. Okay, so uh, thanks for watching. Um, I know this was a few days later than normal. I usually get them out on a Tuesday, but I have been very busy. 
Um, I'm also working with two modern teams on trying to get them out for the summer and um, that in real life does take up a lot of my time I've got very little left to play but um, I've managed to get this out so I hope you enjoy it you, you've enjoyed it and been entertained by it I know I have uh, cheers now, bye